Hey guys, so I have been testing saturation and brightness in ProRip and I thought I would show you guys how to do that. How you can do four tests on one A4 sheet without wasting a lot of paper. So I went uh, to, to Design ES and found a really bright image. I had a lot of color in it, especially the ones that I struggle with, which is red. Um, and so then I did a test. So I'm gonna show you how to cut this design into four pieces and then bring it into ProRip and rasterize each piece separately. So let's get started. So this is our artwork. This is an A4 sheet. So basically what I did is I divided my A4 sheet into four. So that's gonna be four and an eighth inches wide and then uh, by five, I'm, I'm gonna do five and a quarter. So four and an eighth by five and a quarter. So then I'm just going to, so I set up a new document. Let's, let's do that first. We'll do a new document. That's going to be, uh, let's change this to inches. And this will be four and an eighth by five and a quarter. And then we'll just go ahead and hit create. And it's CMYK, transparent. So let's go a 16 bit. So let's go ahead and create that. So that's going to be the quarter sized of our document. And now I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool because I'm going to put all four on that one page and then send them over to ProRip each time. So I'm going to just take my rectangle marquee tool over here. Let me deselect that by Command D. And then I'm just going to grab a quarter of the design at my guidelines here, which I created a screen, a shortcut to put those guides up. So now I'm gonna copy this by doing Command or Control C on a PC, Command C on a Mac. I'm gonna go over to my new document and then I'm gonna hit Command V. Now I had removed the uh, black already. And you know what, I made that too small. So let's do that again. File, so it must be five and a half. So let's do a new file. So we're gonna change it again to inches. So we're gonna go four and an eighth by, and let's see, half of that is gonna be what, 5.75? So we'll do 5.75. 5.75. And then I'm gonna hit create. And now let me command V and put that back on there. So that's perfect. So then all you would do is type up whatever your test is. And in this case, uh, I'm gonna go with this red color because that's what I wanna test along with these other colors. And I'm just gonna type saturation 10. So what, what it, basically what I've done is I've done saturation zero, saturation five, saturation 10, saturation 15, and then I'll pull it into ProRip and see how they all print out with those settings. So now all I'm gonna do is file, export, quick export as a PNG file, save it, and then again, I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna end up emailing it to myself. So I will see you guys in ProRip in just a minute. Hey guys, so I'm back. Here we are in ProRip and let's bring in these four pieces. Now the one struggle I did have was getting them all arranged in the right order, um, which can be a little complicated. So you may have to play with that a little bit. But at any rate, so let me show you how you do it. Uh, I'm just, I've saved my four files into a folder. So let's come in here and grab them and we'll do, uh, Let's start with brightness five. And so right now I'm testing the brightness. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm just gonna click on it. And the key is making sure that your length and your width is not greater than the software will allow for. So I'm gonna go with five and a quarter. So that's the first one. And let me bring in the second one and that'll be brightness 10. and it's generating the preview and it's you see it's highlighted in red here so we'll go to five and a quarter on that one all right and so you can see already that they are not in the same order so 
let's get rid of brightness five and pull that one back in. All right, so here that one is, and 5.25. Okay, so there we have them. And now let's bring in the other ones. And I'm, not, I'm only gonna worry about the two being in the right order. So that would be brightness 20, I think. And let's see if the other one pops in beside it. And 15. And let's do that one. And it's five and a quarter also. Okay, so uh, they are organized properly, but you may have to play with that. One last thing that I wanted to mention that I forgot is that in order for this to work on your page tab where you've set up your layout, you have to make sure that this auto nest is selected in order for this to work. Um, it may work with auto page, but you might as well just make auto nest. Um, I haven't tried it with auto page, but I know it works if you choose auto nest. So if you have it as manual um, or possibly auto page, it won't work. So make sure you choose auto nest. So now for each one, I'm gonna rasterize these differently. So I'm gonna click on brightness 10 and I'm gonna go down here to color adjust. And I wanna see what the brightness does if I increase, I never decreased it, um, but I'm gonna see what happens if I increase it to five. And then I may play with these settings down here because I do wanna rasterize it with lines. Um, you could do it with holes. So I'm going to change my hole size here to 210 and then I'm gonna hit OK and then I'm gonna double click here this one in particular and I'm gonna go to ink removal under the job ticket properties and I'm gonna do my frequency at 28 my angle at 67 and I'll do this one as lines so that looks good I'm gonna hit OK and now I'm gonna come over here to this one and I'm gonna double click that one again, or not again, but I'll double click that one. Go down to color layer, ink removal. And for this one, let's do variable. Again, we're just kind of playing around and seeing what we get here. So we'll go to variable for this one. And whole size, we want 210. And I'm gonna hit okay, but you know what? I don't think I adjusted my saturation or my brightness. So here's my brightness, that's what I'm testing. So I'm gonna to go to brightness 10 and I've been doing saturation 10. All right, so I'm gonna hit okay there. I'm gonna go back and change my, whoops, brightness and saturation here. So I've got my brightness at five. I'm gonna keep my saturation at 10, hit okay. And so on this one, we're gonna double click this one, go to ink removal, and we'll do 28 again, 67. Well, this time, let's do 52.5, and let's do round, or actually, let's do Euclidean, okay, and 210, and again, I forgot to adjust my brightness, okay, so the, right down here I can tell what my brightness is. So brightness 20 for that one. And my saturation was 10. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then on this last one, let's adjust it first. So that one is a brightness of 15 based on this down here. And then my saturation was 10. I'm gonna hit okay. Then I'm gonna double click it. Now you can also go up here to Jobs, Properties, and it's gonna take you to that same settings, Color Layer, Ink Removal. And let's do 24 just for giggles. And do Line, and we'll do 67 again. And hit OK. 
So now we have all different types of rasterization for these four pieces, and they're all on one document. Now you can rearrange them because it looks like it's gonna be really tight up here in the corner. So we'll start with the bottom first. And this is to move everything over to the right. So I'm gonna move it over one. And then I'm also gonna move it down two. Whoops, not up. Okay, and then this one, I'm gonna move over one and down two. Same thing here. I'm gonna move that down two and over. And same thing here, over and down two. <clears throat> and that way I know that nothing is gonna get cut off and it's gonna be as close to each other as we can get it. Okay, so now that we've got all that situated, let's go ahead, now that we have all four of these, and let's see if we can rip it and see what happens. Okay, and now let's view the raw data and voila we've got lines we've got i think this was the variable and all it did was circles and then we've got circles here huh that one's weird i wonder what that is red let's let's take a look because i don't see anything on this red brightness 15 so let us get rid of this and let's open that back up so I'm gonna click on it and hit open. And let's see what we did on this one and why it didn't rasterize at all. Ah, so you see, I had it at 255 and that is the maximum ink. So that is why. So let's change that to 210. And we did 24 frequencies. So we just wanna see how much more space there is. Uh, and we're gonna hit okay. And now let's rip that one more time. Okay, and view the raw data. Okay, so now we can see the different settings here. So that, that's the lines. This over here, if I can get it over here. Hmm. Here we go. So this one was variable, so it must like these holes the best. And then pulling it down, here is the 24 lines per inch, and then here is the Euclidean. So that is what it will, I mean, the colors are gonna be different, but so that's what it looks like. Um, and that is how you would print that. So let me close that. And I'm just going to click up here and hit the print button and all four of them will print and then you can uh, marry and press them. So I hope this made sense. To me, it was very helpful to figure out how I could test four sheets and rasterize them separately on the same page. So have a great day and happy new year.